Although in many ways, despite the obviously trying nature of everything that's been happening over the last year, we have managed to make a lot of progress. We had lovely sessions in the building this year. We've been in bubbles, but that bubbled nature has meant that we've not actually been able to do anything with the whole brass department in one place. So we thought it would be a really nice idea to have at least one moment of the year where we're all together, even if it is virtually. Um, so I've commissioned the brilliant Ryan Linham, who wrote The Legend of the Lockdown Leavers this time last year, has written us a superb piece called the staycation celebration and it features almost every single one of our students and about 13 or 14 of our brilliant visiting tutors and our international chair i hope you really enjoy it Welcome to our graduating students, staff, family and friends who've been able to join us online. Graduation is always a special time and many of you will have been dreaming about the moment you could cross the stage in cap and gown to collect your certificate for a long time now. For others of you, it may have been a more recent dream. But we will make sure that you have that moment. And I do hope very much that you'll be able to join us in January next year when we plan to welcome you and your guests to an in-person ceremony at Birmingham Symphony Hall, marking your achievements in the traditional way. But in the meantime, we did not want to let the completion of your studies, the moment of your achievement, pass by without celebration or fanfare. And so I'm really glad you've been able to join us from wherever in the world you might be. Because one of the things, of course, that we've learned over the past challenging 15 months is that virtual events give us a unique opportunity to bring people together wherever they're physically located. I'm here 
in Curzon Building at our city centre campus. But whether you're watching in your home in Birmingham or as far away as China, India, Nigeria, or one of the over 100 different countries that our student body is drawn from, welcome to this virtual degree celebration. What's absolutely clear is that no matter what the past year or so has looked like, you've continued to work hard, show resilience and determination, and that's why you're now a graduate. So this is a special event, the culmination of years of hard work. It's a time to celebrate your achievements and those who've supported you on your journey. No one will ever be able to take this away from you. You're the class of 2021 BCU graduates, and we're immensely proud of you, and we look forward to the day when we can celebrate in person. BCU is proud to be the university for our great city of Birmingham. It's right that we are deeply engaged with many of the developments taking place across the city. It's such an exciting place to be. We've got the Commonwealth Games on the horizon in 2022. We'll be moving into the Alexander Stadium following the Games as a new home for our portfolio of sport courses. The BBC has committed to moving their operations into the city and next to our city centre in Digbeth, there's of course an increasing number of media and technology companies opening up, taking advantage of the unique creative industry skills in our city coming out of our university. And with our partners in the Institute of Technology, we're ensuring that the young people in our city and region have strong practical roots into engineering and into digital technologies. The world's changing faster than any of us will have ever seen before. This was true even before the pandemic, but that's only accelerated the magnitude of change. And because of that, the world feels uncertain right now. But the pandemic has reaffirmed why the creation of knowledge and the development of skills are so important. We've all seen the development of vaccines at an unprecedented speed, the discovery of different ways of working, different practices in our frontline services to care for the sick. And we've all had to learn to work very differently. And it's why graduates like you will continue to be in demand from employers they want the skills you developed, the knowledge you've acquired. They want your ideas. They want your enthusiasm. They want your ability to deal with a changing world, responding to its challenges and seeing them as opportunities. Even before the pandemic, I would have told you that the nature of work was changing. Few people are going to have a job for life, and that's probably even truer now. But it also means that you will continue to learn to develop new skills and acquire new knowledge as you go. This is something our graduates are well placed to do because at BCU you benefited from applied learning. You've had plenty of opportunity to apply your learning throughout the course that you've been on. And because of that education, you will be able to adapt and respond to that changing world. You'll be able to give back to society and to make a difference. Who knows what the people in this event right now will go on to do that changes our world for the better. When I wrote to invite you to this celebration, I told you that education has a special power to transform lives. And education's already had an impact on your lives, and it will go on to make a difference to the lives of others. The work you do will transform other people's lives. And we see examples of this almost every week. Just over a year ago, I witnessed our healthcare students face the greatest challenge the NHS has ever confronted. And at the height of the pandemic, they took on frontline roles before graduation to ensure that the city's health service could face the demands placed upon it. It's been a marathon effort to protect us and those we love. And we're deeply proud of all of our students. And whatever you go on to do, we hope so much that you will stay in touch with us so we can continue to take pride in your achievements. Because BCU is a community, and you, our students, have told us that being part of BCU means something. It means pride and confidence and belonging. And you're now one of our alumni body, part of BCU for life. 
So as you take your next steps, remember you're not alone. You have the staff who supported you, some of whom you will hear from shortly. You have your family, and of course, you've got the friends you made at BCU. We take real pride in you, and we're confident in what you've achieved and what you're going to go on to achieve. And we would like to celebrate your special achievement. I hope you enjoy this celebration. It's all for you. Hello and welcome to your very special virtual graduation celebration. As Chancellor of Birmingham City University, things you never thought you'd hear yourself say, it is my great pleasure to welcome you to this celebration. It might look a little bit different to what you were imagining when you first stepped through the university doors all those years ago. Back then, Netflix and chill meant a hot date. Now it's official government health advice. But let's make one thing clear from the start. It does not change the magnitude of your achievement. In fact, given everything you've had to contend with over the past year, it's completely astounding. We are all in awe of you. We are. I would give you a standing ovation, but like everybody working from home, I haven't worn trousers since last Easter. But whether you're in your bedroom, your grandmother's kitchen, or sitting in the garden with your family dog, I want you to give yourself a great big cheer and raise the roof. You've done it. You completed your degree. So don't be shy, let your neighbors know about it. It's payback time for all those Amazon parcels they nicked off your front doorstep. In fact, never mind raise the roof. Let's shout from the rooftops. You are a graduate after all. Ready? On three, BCU posse in full effect. One, two, three. Each and every one of you celebrating today has shown dedication and personal commitment to be here. You stand at the beginning of the next chapter of your lives. You're on the bottom rung of a ladder, which will take you to exciting new careers and opportunities. You could even be prime minister one day, prime minister. Apparently the only qualifications are floppy hair and not knowing how many kids you've got. You're ready to make a positive difference to the world around you. You, my friends, are the class of 2021. The most chaotic, turbulent, shocking year since way back in 2020. No one will ever forget you. Just by being here, you've shown that you've got resilience, determination, a commitment to hard work, and most importantly, the ability to stealthily go on Tinder during a Zoom lecture, isn't it? And those things are going to stand you in such good stead as you embark on the next stage of your lives. Look at you all. You didn't think you'd get here. You didn't think you'd stay the distance. It seemed too hard, too overwhelming, too exhausting. And I was just doing those Joe Wicks YouTube workouts. But you did it and you're here, celebrating as all of your hard work has paid off. No one will ever take these things from you. Not the achievement and pride in what you've done, nor the sense of belonging you feel when you meet another BCU graduate. Because your BCU journey is not ending here. You're going to be part of a community of people who are all proud of your achievements, who all support one another and cheer each other on. The BCU community is very special indeed. I, Lenny Henry, am proud to be a part of the community and have spent a very happy and fulfilling five years as Chancellor here. Things were very different back then. Boris was still a figure of fun, Rather than a beleaguered PM, since he got the job, he spent so little time in bed, his hair started to look normal. And then last year, they gave me another title, Visiting Professor. This is a title which I'm equally proud to hold, because it is linked to the work of the Seleni Henry Centre for Media Diversity. We launched the centre right at the beginning of lockdown, but I'm really pleased to say that its work has continued. We are conducting research with the ultimate aim of making sure all of society is represented across the media. This will ultimately help to support a fairer, more inclusive landscape where young people from all backgrounds have no limits placed on their dreams and ambitions. And we're starting to see that diversity at last. Is anybody watching Bridgerton on Netflix? A Regency story about a rich white girl falling in love with a cool black guy. It's basically Downton Abbey meets the Kardashians. Now, um, <clears throat> I became Chancellor of BCU 
because I believe passionately in education and the power of education to transform lives. Just before the pandemic, I officially opened a centre in King Standing that BCU is running with a charity called Inter University. The centre is based in an area where few young people go into higher education and offers academic support and mentoring to promote the aspirations of the young people who live there. And the day we opened the centre showed exactly why we need something like it. There were kids there as young as 10 or 11 who were dreaming big and had been encouraged to follow those dreams. I even met the most talented 13-year-old juggler you'll ever see, who's determined to make it big in entertainment. I don't doubt that he will. After all, I've still got his business card. Schemes like this are vital because they help young people to overcome barriers which are put in their way, help them to achieve their potential and start to level the playing field for youngsters from disadvantaged backgrounds. They address the vicious circle which these young people find themselves in, showing them that higher education could be for them and developing skills to help them get there. Birmingham is a place full of opportunity, but we need to keep working to ensure that young people from all backgrounds have access to these opportunities, regardless of which postcode they were born in or which school they went to. Mmm, Jamaican tea with a bit of rum in it. Now, being part of BCU means grabbing every opportunity that comes your way. But make sure you ask first. You're not the last US president or the next US president. You'll have had endless opportunities whilst you've been with us. Expert guidance and teaching from your tutors and lecturers, the input of industry experts, the addition of career-related skills into every course, and the chance to get to grips with how to apply your learning in the real world. Plus, you haven't had to waste time getting dressed for lectures. Now, take all of the skills you've developed and use them to help you flourish. Get out there and make the world a better place. Let's face it, right now the bar is so low, it might as well be a Weatherspoons for little people. Don't forget the wealth of resources we have here to help you as you step out into the labour market. Whether that's careers advice as you start your job hunt or support for those with a more entrepreneurial mindset. You have access to these resources as a member of the BCU community, so use them wisely. This community is made up of people from all walks of life, each with their own story to tell. This is the latest chapter in your story and you will now go on to write the next one as you embrace the opportunities which come your way. And no matter what obstacles you encounter on the road or head, no matter how difficult and scary it might seem, just remember, it cannot be as bad as being stuck in the house with your family. Congratulations, enjoy your day, and look forward to seeing you in real life very, very soon. My name is Seleni Henry. I'm so sorry for the banging about upstairs. I love you, be cool, be happy. Put your, put your cardboard hat on. I'm going to put this on. Give one more cheer. Hooray! Hello, and welcome to your graduation ceremony. My name is Professor Ian Blair, and I'm the Pro Vice Chancellor and Executive Dean of your faculty, the Faculty of Health, Education, and Life Sciences. We've had to get used to virtual gatherings since spring of last year, but this is not just any gathering. This is your graduation, a very special day indeed. Of course, we would all rather be in the International Convention Centre, together in person, celebrating the achievement of each and every one of you. Sadly, that's not to be, well, not yet anyway. However, on behalf of the staff here at the Faculty of Health, Education and Life Sciences, I offer you my warmest congratulations on successfully completing your journey with Birmingham City University. Graduations are always a very special time in the BCU calendar and we use them to mark your individual and your class's collective achievements. They are an opportunity to celebrate and to record your achievements. Normally, our graduations involve the hustle and bustle of these events in the ICC. Unfortunately, restrictions mean that we cannot do that this year, but let's not focus on what we're missing. Today is still a day for celebration and the warmest applause, albeit virtually. COVID-19 has meant that we will not have the opportunity to celebrate together, 
but that has not changed the single thing which is at the very core of this, your graduation day, formally marking your achievement and success and expressing our shared pride in all that you have achieved to get to this milestone and special moment in your lives. Many words have been used to describe the times that we have been in since March last year. Unprecedented, strange, challenging, and the list goes on. For society, this has been difficult, and no less for you, as you've endeavoured to navigate your final year of university life or postgraduate studies in these COVID days. Each year, we feel a real sense of pride in our graduates, and this year is no different. And if anything, our sense of pride is deeper and more poignant given the challenges that you've had to overcome. I want to thank you for how you faced these last number of months as we've had to move our teaching online, have our social contact reduced, our face-to-face -face teaching paused, many activities halted and a buzzing campus hushed and your student experience ending in a markedly different manner than it began. You have been determined, resolute and remain positive throughout, pushing through adversity and finishing well. There is an old Arabic proverb which says, sunshine all the time makes a desert. It alludes to the fact that dark and difficult times are often a time of growth, cultivating personal depth and perseverance, and in the faculty we have seen that in so many of you. Today marks an important day in your lives, yet it is the beginning of a journey. To get to this point was an important achievement in itself for which I commend you. The personal competencies that got you here, passion, commitment, tenacity, open minds to learn, will be important throughout your lives. Nurture them. They are of equal importance to the theory and practice that you've gained with, uh, with, us, with your time with us here. Lord of the Rings fans may be familiar with Gandalf's famous line, all we have to decide is what is to do with the time that is given to us. So now, what awaits you as graduates of Birmingham City University? What are you going to do with the time that is given to you? Well, there's a whole world of opportunity out there, and many of you will want to start, or indeed may already have started your first job, the first step in your career. As a faculty, we are rightfully proud of our employment record, particularly in our vocational courses, with employment rates in the high 90s. Let's make no bones about it. BCU graduates are really highly regarded and they're in huge demand with our employing partners. There are also many further study options that are available to you now with your graduate status. These range from postgraduate certificates to PhDs and the noble endeavour in the search for new knowledge. As a university, we have collectively risen to the challenge of these times and we've been leading research projects to address COVID-19 supporting both local, national and international efforts to expand our knowledge of the pandemic and using this enhanced intelligence to develop solutions that will benefit society both locally and globally. You will be very welcome to join us in seeking those solutions and expanding our knowledge via postgraduate qualification and research in this and many other areas. Congratulations graduates, we are very proud of you You've had an incredibly tough year and we appreciate the hard work that you've put in. I look forward to hearing all about your successes and wish you all the best for the future today. Well done to the class of 2021. The world awaits you. Don't disappoint it. Thank you and enjoy the rest of your graduation ceremony. Goodbye. Hello, my name is Hannah Abbott and I am Head of the School of Health Sciences. I'm delighted to be part of your graduation celebration today and I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate you all on your achievements. It has been our pleasure and our privilege to be part of your journey and I know I speak for the whole school when I say we're incredibly proud of you all. You have been part of our school during some significant events in our history. You were some of the first students to be taught in our new building and specialist new facilities. For our sports and life sciences graduates, you are our second cohort of graduates and I have been so impressed by the work you have all produced, particularly in your final projects. For our graduates on our health courses, you have completed your studies during a global pandemic, with many of you volunteering for deployment 
to support the NHS during this challenging time. As allied health professional graduates continuing your chosen professions, you will forever be part of the history of the NHS as it responded to the national emergency of COVID-19. And for that, we thank you. In addition to congratulating you, our graduates, I would also like to extend my appreciation to those who have supported you throughout your studies. You may have heard people refer to academic studies as a marathon and not a sprint. And like the best marathons, it is so often those cheering us on which really helps us get to the finish. I'm sure you'll be celebrating with friends and family today. And so please do raise a glass to them and to your academic teams who've supported you along the way. I hope you have enjoyed your time studying as part of our vibrant and diverse school community. As staff, students and graduates across our different courses, we are united by our commitment to improving lives. This may be via direct patient care, through sport and physical activity, or through scientific research. As you graduate today, you are joining our many alumni who are using their knowledge and skills in careers which make a real difference to individuals and the wider community both within the West Midlands and throughout the world. We hope you enjoy your graduation this afternoon. On behalf of the school, I would like to congratulate you on your achievement and wish you every success in your future careers. We are all very proud of our graduates and our BCU community. So please do keep in touch as we would love to hear about all your exciting achievements in your careers. Congratulations! Class of 2021. So, huge congratulations to the class of 2021. Um, have a wonderful time celebrating and we can't wait to see you for your in-person graduations, hopefully next year. Um, and a special shout out to the best course within the Department of Sport and Exercise, which is of course the PE in School Sport to Well done guys. Well done, well done. Congratulations on your graduation, well done for all your hard work, you're moving on to a really new and exciting chapter of your life and we wish you every success in the future. Congratulations to the Operating Department Practice and Paramedic Science team. We are all so proud of what you have achieved. Congratulations to the Biomedical Science graduates. I really hope you've enjoyed your time at BCU, even though it's been a little bit difficult, and I wish you all the success in your future careers. Hello, my name is Lance Doggart, and I'm the new Head of Department for Sport and Exercise. Although I haven't met you, I would just like to offer my congratulations to you all. I've heard so many positive things from all the department team in sport and exercise, including the course leads, Ify, Jenny, Richard and Peter. I want to wish you every success for the future and please do keep in contact with us as we'd love to know how your career progresses. Radiotherapy graduates of this year 
We're absolutely proud of you. Uh, what an amazing achievement to get across the finishing line. Carry on being awesome. I've loved every minute of looking after you over the last three years. And uh, we hope to stay in touch with you. Work hard, be awesome, be great radio officers. Take care. Congratulations to all of the sport and exercise science students that have graduated this year. Always great to get your degree completed, especially under the current circumstances. Everybody should be really proud of themselves. I've no doubt that whatever you choose to go on to do, you'll do an excellent job. It's been great seeing you develop, even over the two years that I've spent with you. So look forward to seeing what it is that you get up to in the future and good luck moving forwards. On behalf of the team, I would like to say congratulations to the very first set of graduates of the Food and Nutrition Science Undergraduate Program. We are very, 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 very proud of you and we know that you will do well in your future endeavor. Congratulations guys and well done. Marcellinus Ignatius Johannes Garretson. Hallo allemaal, mijn naam is Marcel en mijn research ging over mantelzorgers van mensen met dementie. Abdikani Saleh Ben Mohammed. Katie Pauline Caulfield. Nishot Samir Chowdhury. Hannah Jones Alex Lickerley Ella Newbold Grace Elizabeth Poole Emily Jane Marie Howitt Madison Kindall Rofiat Damilo Lara Dezina Congratulations to everyone graduating today and a special shout out to the Public Health Masters Graduate Class of 2021. Cheers to a more tremendous achievement. Joshua Oliropo Adiemi. Happiness Opaimi Agbula Elizabeth Louise Alcott Sandra Maureen Campbell Patience Domingos Hajin de Cordoran On Mahelen Equu Hello, I am Oma Helen Equ. I'm so happy I'm graduating today. Kiza Hoyot Vincent Mark Anthony Henry. Thank you to all my course tutors for your support throughout my master's degree. Thank you to my cohort for their continued support, also my friends and family. Thank you very much. Jackie Longstaff. Irene James Masinza. 
in Tarbis enjoy smokily. Thank my family for all the support that they've given me throughout my course, and I'd like to thank my lecturers of public health, especially my supervisor, Dr. Barbara Howard. Elizabeth Rose NAOD. Oyindamola Olejamok Olatand. Samson Chinonso On. Patricia Akiwa Yeboa. Chika Linda Ianacho. Ola Shoga P. Staney. Alison Lightfoot. Sarah Elizabeth Martin. Ronia Ruzani. Yin Pin Nguyen. Kashita Ruddick. Lauren Azopardi. Aoife Murphy. Richard Lloyd Davies. Michelle Davina Davenport. Louisa Jane Gale. Gemma Lewis. Jennifer Meekin. Beth Ann Louise Richards. Jennifer Charlotte Wood. Stevie Sefton. Shabila Zami. Maria Ahmed. Rakia Ahmed. Nazia Akhtar. Fariha Amin. Monica Babu. Alish Parbeda. Aisha Siddika Badshaw. Nicoletta Barton. Masuma Begum. Rachel Brown. Nicole Francis Burden. Oleander Fatter. Winter Fise. Habib Hussein. Shabazz Iqbal. Kate Kane. Ruby Conkey. Christina Corlida. Joanna Magaji. Landini Mahavai. Takud Zwanish Makufa. Shaquille Mohammed. Constantine Cosmin Mergu. Haidar Ali Nawaz. 
Amy Francesca Newton. Anjali Panessar. Ikra Sadik. Thara P. Sathyanandan. Gemma Louise Scott. Eamon Shamiri. Amen Shazadi. Simran Sidhu. Farath Subhani. Yasmin Sindhi. Jose Carlos Tavares Brito. Masood Ukadia. Khadija Wakar. Khadija Wasim. Anfal Yasin. Rainier Yasin. Anika Ali. Sharmin Begum. Samantha Michelle Berry. Richard Paul Blagg. Sarah Blower. Mario Camera. Mary Jane Christine Corley. Mehawi Weldio Hans Fekadu. Lottie Fitch. Ellie George. Dave Nee Adjaments a Glover. Layla Florence Sylvia Hale. Alia Ismail. Zakia's Jamil. Aisha Cameron. Ajmal Khan. Cameron McTurnan. Jawaria Aftab Mirza. Rhea Mystery. Victoria Jessica Moncton. Nancy N. N. George. Ikranaz. Sinead Quigg. Alan Smith. Magdalena Irina Stimson. Tayyab Mohammed Tariq. Leonie Williams. Arub the Harim Yasir. Pooja Bovsa. Leah Corpa. Poling Fang.
Coralie Rostam. Sibonal Mafosa. Katie Beddoes. Megan Davies. Shadab Fatima. Fachi Motagari. Rachel Hartnell. Ellie Jordan. Cool Vehicle. Mazda Latify. Courtney Dawes. Vardia Yafai. Nathan David Beams. Michelle Corbett. Carl Dowling. Katie Elwis. Mia Godbold. Bryony Huggle. Charlotte Jackson. Pooja Kaur. Annalise Limage. Neve McKenna. Holly Moore. Thomas David Morrill. Chloe Northover. Chloe Elizabeth Tate. Lauren Walker. Soyef Chowdhury. Olivia Isabel Cunningham. Congratulations on making it to graduation. Over the past three years, I've met some amazing people and would like to thank you all for the support on helping me get to this point. Jake East Goodman. George Facer. Hannah Jane Keogh. Syed Mohammed Musa. Amy Marie Palzer. Adam Rahman. Ella May Taylor. Grace Withers. <laughs> Nicola Crouch. Roxanne Lavinia Blackburn. Lucy Bristow. Hannah Clark. Harriet Clark. Stephanie Cooper. Zoe Corden. 
Liam Peter Fairbrother. Sophie and Kathleen Gibson. Hedia Gul Mohammed. Yoni Greenwood. Lauren Elizabeth Hart. Rahima Hassan. Louisa Hatton. Juanetta Hunter. Madia Imshaz. Tia Ray Johnson Wilson. Hannah Leonard. Rebecca Linford. Francesca Luca. Suzanne Mahadia. Kate McGlinchey. Simon Richard Newman. Mia Danielle Powell. Asa Angel Riley. Julia Rock. Fiona Marie Round. Ifra Shabir. Natasha Cytopuria. Charlotte Freddy Snook. Jennifer Eileen Stainthorpe. Rima Suleiman. Alia Candice Tate Douglas. Kirsty Tasker. Rachel Terry. Kirsty Lee Voice. Isabel Waller. Jerry Wing Kai Wan. Millie West. Olivia Beatty. Holly Brown. Ella Sisson Harris. Sasha Elizabeth Horswell. Greta Kaislite. Katie Merminus. A vital, a vital praise. Razan Khalid Saleh. Suzanne Casey Obeng van den Bosch. Kai Alexander. Jodian Kim Harvey. Rahul Kaushal. Hannah Madams. Sarah Ogunade. Taylor Ormond. 
Kin on Ray. Thomas Shaw. Callum Edward Squire. Savannah Ali Esteridge. Joel Marcus Williams. Verity Bashford. Ryan Carter. Claudia Lucia Mayer. Georgia Rose Reed. Imogen Webb. Gemma Jane Wiley. Lisa Haynes. Emily Rose Hickson. Chloe Loiko. Andrew Makepeace. Vincent Cruzata Matawaran. Paul Nicholas Roberts. Elizabeth Salmon. Helen Sutton. Amy Wheeler. Lucy Adair. Lisa Ainsco. Ellie Ball. Keely Cockman. Emily Jane Davies. Lucy Dobson Corley. Caroline Fell. Jeanette Sisson Ferguson. Ashley Elaine Frost. Catherine Hamilton. Rachel Louise Johnson. Daniel Ford Lewis. Kathy and Lynn Jones. Kelly Mano. Alex Nealon. Shirley Nevin. Kate Louise Philpot. Tegan Darby Shipman. Amy Jade Short. Lisa Simpson. Catherine Ellen Stinton. Angela Taylor. Deborah Wallace. 